three days of action-filled war games in northern Italy winds up NATO's summer training. Top command officers of the Southern Europe Defense Forces oversee the realistic maneuvers conducted over a wide area centering on Lake Maggiore. Men and equipment of many nations work together under a single unified command in this exercise to sweep a hypothetical invader from the region. NATO maneuvers like this are unique in history, both for their realism and their international scope, covering the frontiers of half a continent. Carrier and land-based jets take part, representing America, Turkey, Greece, and Italy. Defense Department films show an actual field test of NATO's combat readiness as the International Defense Force continues alert and poised for action. The free world's first line of resistance should the spirit of Geneva prove an illusion and efforts for peace come to naught. Nashua, number one, swamps number two in the race of the year. Nashua, with Eddie Arcaro giving him the whip, breaks fast from his rail position. With swaps, Willie Shoemaker up hard on his heels. This is a match race, $100,000, winner take all. East versus West. Nashua, the Bel Air beauty versus the Wonder Horse from California, swaps, who beat him in the Kentucky Derby. Here in Washington Park outside Chicago, they can settle old scores and new ones. The winner will be named top three-year-old and the horse of the year. Swaps is still running second, but holding on. And the crowd of 36,000 is waiting for the big bay to make his bid. Time is running out. But it is Nashua who opens up in the stretch. Swaps doesn't have it. As it developed later, he injured his right front leg at the start. But right now, all eyes are on Nashua and the veteran Eddie Arcaro, opening up the gap and going on to victory by six and one half lengths. It's all Nashua gaining sweet revenge for his defeat by Swaps at Churchill Downs. California Colt was favored to win, but it's the pride of the East who brings home the bacon. $100,000 worth. Winner take all. Nashua, horse of the year. Racing thrills on the Detroit River, the sixth and final heat of the Silver Cup Regatta. Sleek hydroplanes skimming around the three-mile course with their engines singing a song of power. There's Gale Fourth and Miss Pepsi, Gale Fifth, Tempo Seventh, and other seagoing speedsters clipping along at speeds well up near the 100 mark. Better duck out of there, my feathered friend. No place for a duck when it's do or die for victory. Tempo 7th, who wins the Silver Cup? 